Another aspect as well uh, that I want to focus on as well, and I see this a lot with people who are in their 40s and who are employed and they want to start a business. What they feel is if they leave their job and they start a business, money comes in easily. And I had this discussion periodically with people where they tell me, Ayman, um, I want to do like you did. So I'm having about, you know, uh, my boss is unappreciative. Uh, my colleagues at work don't support me. And, you know, I do everything in this company. I want to I wanna do this on my own. And then, uh, so, so they usually come in asking me for my opinion on an idea. I say, look, let's put the idea on the side. Let's talk more about you and your life. Your lifestyle, you know, what, you know, what are you spending on your money in terms of housing and cars and social obligations and kids, how old are they? Are they going to college or school or so on? So what does that mean financially and so on? Long before we get to that, because they're usually very, paid very well uh, uh, as expats in different countries. And they think that opening up a business, money comes in very quickly. So, uh, uh, so that's an aspect. And then also, even though you're very experienced in your corporate world, it doesn't mean that you do the same that you'll be able to do well in the startup world because things are very different in startup land. So uh, those in corporate world, they come in, they say, okay, I'm going to get ahead of marketing, ahead of development, ahead of product and ahead of sales and ahead of, and, you know, you are the head of product and you are the head of marketing and you are the head of sales. And so for the next, for the first year or two. So that provides difficulty too uh, for those who have you in a corporate background. And also there are, I mean, those are you not in the room, but others usually uh, what they do is they say that I want to build a business or I'm building a business or I have an idea for it. And then I see them two years later and they're still working, supposedly working on their idea. You know, two years, three years later and you're working on your idea, but you're still in your job. You haven't built a product. You haven't had a customer. You haven't detailed anything. Um, that does not constitute work, work on your idea. And the accelerated program that you're in now helps you within a few months to figure out what is it that you can or can't do or what will work or what, what will not work.